This vehicle's Carmen Mobile's DE555 camper van. It's got a rather typical camper van layout with a rear bed and a bed up front which is in the ceiling. Let's have a look at some of the other details on it. It's 599 centimetres long, it's 205 centimetres wide, it's 288 centimetres high, it costs 61 and a half thousand euros. Right, now let's look at it from the outside and the first thing that strikes me is this chair which is stuck there which is just getting in the way. Do you need a fifth chair taking up so much space in this uh, comparatively small van? That's my question to you. Let's have a look around the table. Well, the table itself actually is quite big, so I, I, you know, if I got my computer out and I was doing other things, maybe eating my dinner and uh, at the same time watching a film uh, on the computer, I think that, 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 would, that would be all right. Uh, even with the uh, extension, would you want five people around the table? Well, you know, you're camping, so you put up with some uh, minor inconveniences from time to time. Now, you've got the bed above, down there, and uh, this uh, here as well, I can make a smaller bed down below, should you so require. Uh, we've got, in this case, it comes in various um, formats. This, you've, got, you've got the semi-automatic gearbox there, but you can have an automatic, you can have manual, you have what you want, really. Now, looking at the back down here, well, oh, you know what this is for? It's for sticking my feet up, right? Right, so I've got my feet up on the chair, there you go, and I was wearing uh, short trousers earlier in the week, but the weather's changed. I'll take my feet off the chairs, actually, that does not very polite. Um, see the bed down the back, have you got much room down there? No, you haven't, uh, but, you know, you could put that, they could have put the bed a bit higher, but I realise not everybody wants to be in a high bed. Of course, if the bed goes up higher, you've got more space. Now, one advantage of having the low bed means you can get this thing here in, the mirror, have some hanging space there. There you go. So you've got that built in. And you've got a drawer up there. You've got curtains at the back. You've got a big bed. You've also got storage up here. You've got your electrics here. You can see what's going on. Uh, if you need more water, well, you'll find out there. You've got a Truma boiler there, 12 volt plug, and yeah, you've got a cute little drawer for keeping things perhaps related to the kitchen. Now, in a van of this nature, you can't expect anything in the way of prep space, and you haven't got it, but you can prep at the table. You've got here a relatively deep sink, and we've got here. Uh, as well as some interesting things for making, I think, coffee with. Dometic two burner hob with domestic sized plug. So, see, when you spill everything, you can get it out down there. It's got, it's got a short but fat fridge. The, the, the bathroom, well, they've uh, tried to save space a bit in the bathroom. Toilet down there, which I believe moves, should it so be required to do so. You've got there the shower head, and so, okay, it's not a huge amount of space, even after the toilet has, uh, has uh, been slid uh, away a little bit, but all the same, I'm sure that's adequate when you're camping. Uh, good sized and good um, duckboard down there. This sensibly has a sliding door. You can see how it slides up there with the rails on comes across like that. That's quite good. I presume that this water is water resistant, this wood, which is in here. Of course I don't know. And up there, mirror, and you got a bit of storage at a height. But I do like the sliding door. And you know these things here are actually um, much more expensive to put in than the normal doors, and time-consuming as well. So uh, I spoke to um, some managing director of uh, one of the companies, and I, I said you'll put sliding doors in, and she said to me, "Well, uh, you know, clients buy our stuff, cost a lot of money. They want something that looks elegant." 
Well, I think the sliding door looks relevant. It certainly saves space and it costs more. <laughs> right, anyway, now this uh, step up there might be a bother to some people, but you know, you know, it's not that. I appreciate it costs over 60,000 euros, but uh, you're not uh, actually sort of paying for a double floor in a camper van, so to speak. Anyway, I'll just mention that one. Two hundred and thirty. You've got USB, and uh, this is how the um, the bed comes up and down. Put a key in there, press the button up or down, depending on what you want. And there you can see the electrics for it. Um, I don't really like this van so much as a couple of the other ones I've seen here, such as the one which is here. Which is really good, I think. But uh, you could uh, watch that film as well if you want, and you can tell me what you think.